Hi everybody, this is John Lemesny. I, uh, tonight, am working again on the Bayou Brawl uh, sketch because the project manager came back to me and said, I really love what you did, um, but some of the stuff that we're putting it on is in a slightly different shape than um, what you have here. Is there any way that you could remake it so that it was able to fit on a circular shape? There's a couple things like keychain, and a coaster that um, she wants to use this design for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially uh, make this design into a circular design and uh, then I'll be able to send that to her and she can put it on anything she needs to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a um, as a new document because I want to preserve what I have because the, what, what I made originally is still good for um, t-shirts for example uh, so what I'm gonna do is today is the 12th I'm going to save this as 2011-06-12. I also want you to note that uh, down in the corner here I have a new application running while I'm doing the screencast. The benefit is that if I hit um, control or if I hit shift or if I hit any letter at all you'll see that down here. So if I don't happen to mention that I'm hitting control shift when I'm resizing something for example you'll see here that um, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now I have uh, 2011.06.12.svg. And I'm going to clean this up a bit because I have some stuff here that I really don't need anymore. Uh, because I have it inside the other file. And... Um, if I don't have that stuff in the document, it's less work that Inkscape has to do. Inkscape will be a little bit quicker, etc. I'll get rid of all these icons. I'll scroll up and get rid of these leftovers. Okay, so um, the easiest way to make this a circular document is to take this rectangle, which is um, 809 by 636, and make it 809 by 809. So let's do that. And I'm going to uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go into document properties and I'm going to resize page to content, resize page to drawing or selection. So now it's 809 by 809. The benefit there is that I can hit 5 on my keyboard and see the entire document. Okay. So uh, one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my ellipse tool. I'm going to turn on snapping. And I'm going to make a perfect circle holding down control in order to constrain as you can see and I'm going to take the um, hmm. I'm going to hold down shift and hit uh, no fill in order to take off the stroke there 
and I am going to select it and then uh, go into the dropper tool in order to set it to the same color as that background that I just extended that I've realized I really don't need anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that rectangle. I'm going to take this object and move it to the bottom. I'm going to take all of these objects except for the circle and hold down shift as I arrow up and there we go so uh, one thing I want to do is I want to take this shape this path and I want to increase the bend so I'm going to go into my path menu into the path effect editor I'm going to add a bend to that and I am going to um, grab that and move it upward until it's basically circular. I'm going to uh, hit 5 on my keyboard in order to see uh, the entire page. And I'm going to uh, ignore this purple background for right now. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to delete it. Uh, actually, I'm going to undo because I want to use that in order to set the color. But I am going to um, hold down shift and move it out of the way so it's not distracting me because I can't use it anymore. I could bend it again, but I'll just, uh, it'll be easier for me to just recreate it. So I'm going to move this down until it fits inside the circle. I'm going to take the bend and bend it some more. I'm going to select it and move it down again give it some space on the edge I think I will bend it one more time I think we have it now. I'm going to move it over just a bit. I'm going to take these printer's marks, move them into a more sensible place. You can see I'm using my arrow in order to do that. Um, I really don't like how close that printer's mark is to uh, this E. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three of those objects. I missed the printer's mark over here, so I'm going to hold down Shift and select that too. And... Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to convert all that to path, object to path. And then I'm going to rotate it 
to get that printer's mark away from the uh, letter there. And I'm about to do the same thing with this. Before I go any further, I'm just going to save. It's saved. So I'm going to now apply a bend to this. I'm going to give it the same very deep bend. Move to my selection tool, grab that purple bit and move it out of the way. Move this back up where it belongs. I'm going to push the bend a little bit further. There we go. I'm going to convert that to path so it retains the bend. I'm going to select it, move it up just a bit. and rotate it. Mm, not exactly happy with the way that uh, ALA is sort of bending in but it doesn't bother me so much as to uh, continue pushing it. So, I'm going to move it over here. And aside from uh, recreating the purple background, we're pretty much done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We have a single path. I'm going to uh, control D, and that duplicates it. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard in order to choose the dropper tool. I'm going to match that same color, which at this point I can, whoops, undo. At this point I can select this object and delete it. I can take this object and control shift size up. And now I'm going to move that below that object. Control Shift Zero again, just to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing here. Control D to duplicate. Oh, I'm sorry. Control D to duplicate. I'm going to move to the dropper tool in order to select this color here. I am going to control shift zero. Whoop. I'm going to undo because I hit the nine instead. There we go. Control shift. Zero in order to size that up. Make sure that's selected. Control Shift Zero. Control Shift Zero. I'm going to move that below. I'm going to take this original object that I had there and delete that. And there we are. We are done. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle in the background.
and send it to back. And that's more or less just in case there's any um, space left over on the objects that the project manager is making. Uh, they won't cause an issue. So we can close the path effect editor now. And here is our uh, slightly modified object that is now circular. I hope this was helpful for you. It certainly uh, was helpful for me in um, modifying this object to make sure that it met the needs of the project. So thanks so much. I will see you again soon.